Okay, so this is the beginning of the Arbor Cafe website project. Arbor Cafe uh, is a small website that consists of three pages. The home page that will guide the user to the other two and then back to the home and etc. in between. Uh, you'll have navigation throughout the site. Um, it's going to be five parts. And this is the first part. We're just basically going to create a new page to hold the home page of the Arbor Cafe. In this case, it's going to be called arbor.html inside a folder called Arbor. I have provided some uh, of the code for you, and hopefully as you go through the assignments, you'll, uh, you'll figure out what's going on. If you have any questions, contact your instructor. Let them know that uh, you have a question, uh, although I think this is going to be a pretty straightforward uh, project. If you follow the steps as, as you're given, I uh, think you will, you'll, you'll find it easy to complete. So let's start at the very beginning then. We're going to create a file called arbor.html inside a folder, co folder called arbor. We're not going to be using an index page necessarily, although Arbor, for all intents and purposes, is going to be our index page. I'm going to visit my GitHub account, traveling to github.com, and signing in. It remembers me, and that's good. I'll find my repository. And unlike uh, some of the other projects, Although, like other projects, this will not have a weak name necessarily or a unit name. It's going to have the Arbor uh, folder inside of which we will have our files. So we're going to create a file called arbor.html inside a folder, folder called Arbor. It's simple enough. We're going to add a file, create a new file, and we're going to call this arbor.html inside of a folder called Arbor. So the folder, first of all, it's called Arbor. I'll type in the word Arbor, slash, and then put in arbor.html. Important to have the .html there. So now if I press Enter, I now have a file that's going to be called arbor.html inside a folder called Arbor. I'm going to click inside of the editor and continue the directions. This website will consist of three pages. Our home page is arbor.html. Later on we're going to have one called specials and one called recipe and as you get to them the instructions will guide you. Inside of this file that we just created you can use the code that's provided here. It's a few lines here. It's just a standard template. I'm going to highlight all of these uh, all of this code right click and copy. You can also press Control C to copy. Command C on a Macintosh. Come back to the file. Press Control V as in Victor to paste. And here is going to be my new page. It says uh, that it's going to have a title that's going to be changed to something else. Uh, it's got a header already, hello world, etc. Uh, it's got a navigation unit that will have a, where we're going to have a, uh, a menu. Uh, sections, articles, and all of the good stuff about this page is, is provided for you. You have a template page elsewhere in your website maybe, but this is going to work just fine. Uh, now that I have put in the code, I will tell it to commit this new file. And uh, it tells me that it's created arbor.html. I'm going to click on arbor.html to see the code again. This is uh, simply the code I just uh, typed in and I'm going to click on the uh, pencil icon so that I can continue to edit this. In another tab, I'm going to click plus in my Chrome browser. I'm going to visit my web page. It's my username. In this case, my username is imet1416. How convenient. Dot github.io. You're just going to be whatever your username is. Dot github.io. I'll say slash and arbor. If we had an index page, we could stop here and it would then tell me that there's an index page inside, but since we didn't call it index, so instead I will type in arbor.html, press enter, and I get the contents of the template. Hello world, this is my web page, uh, and things that we can change later. Some code is pre-written here, so we might be able to use it as the project moves along. 
let's see what else we need to do. Now, inside of the navigation tags, and that navigation is NAV, and that is our uh, semantic tag, uh, let's find it. It's right here on my line 10, navigation. So it tells me that I need to uh, add in the name of the pages that uh, are going to be created for this web page. I'm going to press enter after the, uh, or I should say in between the NAV elements so that I have this new line 11. I just press enter a few times to give me the space. And I know that this is where we're going to be adding a home. So I'll type in home, go to the next line by pressing enter and specials. And then the classic recipe of the month. Okay, so there's no code in, in here. All I know is that we're going to be using this in our page. I'm just making it look readable. And since this is the first part and this is the first time, I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. But just keep in mind that as this moves along, that uh, you need to follow the directions so that you can complete the project. It's telling us right here that we need to create an unordered list. There is no code given. All we get is the name of the list, the name of the items in the list. So what does that mean, an, an unordered list? Well, you remember from your previous lessons that you can have a bulleted list, which is what an ordered, unordered list is. Uh, so let's begin by typing in the uh, open bracket, declaring an unordered list with UL closing it, the, bro the brackets, and then going to the end of the text where the list is and closing the unordered list tag slash ul inside of brackets. Each one of these uh, list items needs then to have an li attached to them. And at the end of each line, we need to also close them. So I have LIs for all of these list items. And at the end, I will open up a bracket slash LI and close it. Same thing for the next one. And then finally, we complete the list. So I'm going to commit this so that later I can go and see what's going on. I'm going to click on my pencil to edit this again or continue editing, I should say. I'm going to find the article tags where we're going to create two paragraphs. Once again, the directions tell you to create two paragraphs, but you should know how to do this, right? This is from the very beginning of the class. How do we display text? What should the paragraph say? Well, welcome to the home of gourmet country cooking, and we hope you have, uh, enjoy a quick bit of leisurely stay with us. I'm going to highlight both of these lines right click and copy go back to my text it's set to put these paragraphs inside of the article so i find the middle of the article tags there press enter a couple of times i'm going to press ctrl v as in victor to paste so here's the two paragraphs that i need one of them begins by saying welcome to the home of gourmet country cooking that's the beginning of that paragraph the end of the paragraph is at the end of the line i will Close the paragraph with bracket slash p. Close the bracket. That should be a lowercase p. And then we have a second paragraph. I'm going to put in pretty much the same code. Just open up the paragraph and then close it. I'll delete this space just so that it looks better, a little bit more readable. And I'm going to commit the changes and move on to the next thing. I can click on the pencil to edit this file. Continue to follow the directions. We're going to create a heading one that reads. And if there's something that I remember from this page, if I reload it, it said it's already got an H1. So I'm going to reload the page and see what it's, how it's looking. I have Hello World. I have a heading on top. We're going to change that text in a second. I have an unordered list that we created with the UL and the list items. And then we have two paragraphs. Welcome to the home of Gourmet Country Cooking. We hope you enjoy a quick, of, uh, quick bit of leisurely stay with us. And then some additional text at the end. We're, we're going to be changing that later. 
In the meantime, though, notice one thing about these paragraphs is that this is uh, bold and italic, the gourmet country cooking exclamation point. So I should look for that text, gourmet country cooking, if it's not indicated in the directions, but it is uh, given to you in the sample like this text was, you need, you're responsible for it when the, when the time comes. In the meantime, I can tell you that if it's bold, you open up the bracket, you, uh, you can type in, we can type strong and we can type B for bold. I'm going to stick with B for bold just to keep it simple. And then at the very end, right after the exclamation point, open up a bracket slash B to close the bold. Another thing that I know is that this is also uh, emphasized text. It's going to be italic. So I'm going to stick with the simple rule, which is open up bracket I. And then at the very end, before the B is finished, I'm going to open up a bracket again and close the I, slash I. So it's going to be bold and italic, gourmet country cooking, exclamation point, close the italic because it's the last thing that opened. It's the first thing that should close. The second thing that closes is going to be the bold, and then the paragraph ends. Scroll down a little bit more, commit changes. And I may be flipping back and forth because I'm trying to think ahead of what's going on. I already told you a couple of things that are coming up. For example, I told you that there's going to be a heading one, and it should read Dining Experiences. I'm going to highlight this text just to copy it. So right-click and copy. I can't see my copy, so I'm going to press, oh, maybe I don't have it properly highlighted. Right-click, there you go, copy. Go back to my GitHub. I told you that there's already a code for uh, my H1. It's right here on my line 8. I'm going to click on the pencil to continue to edit. Hello world, this is my web page. Is the text currently inside the H1? I'm going to delete that text and type in, or rather, Control V as in Victor. Dining experiences is now going to be my H1. And um, although I'm scrolling down, a little bit too fast here to commit the changes. Uh, I need to check my directions because what's going to happen is is that dining experiences is going to be in the top of the page and the directions though they say that we have the article tags with those two paragraphs and then following that we have an H1 that's going to be below the paragraphs. So although I have already used this code, I can repurpose it. I can highlight the H1, and I'm going to press Control X as an X-ray to cut, and then figure out, okay, so I have these two paragraphs, right? And then I have the article. Inside of this article, we're still working, right? Inside of the article tags and following that. So this is going to be part of this article. So right after the paragraph, I'm going to press Enter, press Control V as in Victor, and Dining Experiences now becomes a part of that article. I'm going to press Enter to give myself a little space and see then what comes next. An unordered list. We've already done one unordered list, so should be fairly simple to follow this, right? We have four items. I'm going to, you can, you can type this text at any point, especially if you have a printout of your assignment. I'll copy and then just say after dining experiences that we're going to have an unordered list and close it slash ul. Inside of those tags, I'm going to paste control V as in Victor, what I just copied. My uh, list items will be created, li. Shall I? And just to save myself a little bit of time, I'm going to copy that li, paste it multiple times as I do the code. I'll put a slash li at the end of that one. And same thing with the other two items. I just copied and pasted and I added the slash. And uh, here is my code. I'm just pressing the tab key as they're all selected to move it. But I have an unordered list that has these list items. Just so that I don't lose my work, I'm going to click on Commit Changes. I'm going to click on the pencil again and see what the next directions say. 
before the main tag closes, because we have a main tag that opened up in line 17. So before it closes, it's on line 32. I'm going to uh, add a space before that, preparing that we, uh, we need two paragraphs. It's the location. We're located on the northeast shore of White Rock Lake, etc. And I'm highlighting those two paragraphs. So highlight, copy, and paste. Control V as in Victor. We can define the paragraphs here. Paragraph opens there. Paragraph also opens in this line. And then they close at the end of each one. Same thing for this one, slash, F, slash P. It's just a lowercase p. And the main closes right after. Inside the footer. Well, what's the footer? The footer is the uh, the tags that we have uh, at the very bottom. It's already got some text in there. It's on my line 35. The semantic text, uh, the tag footer, closes two lines later in 37. The directions now tell us that it should have the address. So I'm going to highlight the text for the address and also the phone number. Right click and copy. Now, like I said, we already have some text in here, which I might be using later. So I'm just going to leave that, that paragraph alone. Instead, I'm going to type in an enter after the footer is declared. Press Control V to paste, V as in vector. Each one of these should be a paragraph. One paragraph, OK. At the following italicized text, like I said, follow directions. It's italicized. After the rule, one paragraph with breaks. What does that mean? Is that it's looking for us to have a rule. So a rule is just going to be a horizontal rule that is going to be open up a tag HR, which just means horizontal rule. You don't need to declare anything else. So that Horizontal rules declared. I'm going to go to the first line here and then open up a paragraph. At the end, we're going to close it, slash P. Same thing for the next one. Open up the paragraph at the beginning, slash P at the end. And finally, the phone number. What else do the directions say about this? They tell me that it's italicized text after the rule. So the rule is already declared. The paragraph opens. So inside of this paragraph, we can do this one of two ways. And I think, you know, although I did this and it may be correct, I'm going to uh, look a little bit deeper into what the directions say. It's going to be one paragraph with breaks. And what am I doing? I'm declaring four paragraphs, no breaks. So why don't I then say that I have one paragraph open. At the very end of one line, I'm going to give it a break. So that's going to be the code open bracket BR for break. We don't need to declare another paragraph since it's breaking and going to the next line. This one then in Dallas, Texas can be another break. And finally, this line can be another, uh, it doesn't have to have a paragraph. It can just be the phone number. And then at the very end, the paragraph closes. This is one paragraph with breaks right here. These are going to be three lines. Also, remember that this needs to be italicized. So one good thing that it's only one paragraph, we can say that Right after the paragraph begins, then we're going to italicize from there on. And before the paragraph closes, we can tell it to end italicize by bracket I. I'm going to commit changes. And uh, go back and see what follows. Before the footer tag closes, we're going to add two paragraphs that read back to the top top and then what uh, today's date is and then we have one last direction inside the side tags we're going to prepare code for an image called cafe.jpg 
we're going to be doing those two things right now. So before the photo tag closes, let's edit this. We already know that this is footer on 35 and it closes on 41. So as 41 opens, this is where the footer ends. And we already have this paragraph. It tells us uh, we have two paragraphs that read one says back to the top and the other one says last updated today. So I'm still sort of insisting that I want to keep this paragraph, but it's. Uh, I think I'm just going to delete it for now to not get confused. So I know that I need two paragraphs. Since I have this paragraph code, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it right after. One paragraph should say back to the top and the other one should say last updated with today's date. So the first paragraph says back to the top and then today's date. colon and then here you should put in whatever today's date is and in my case we'll just put in it's not January it's, uh, it's November 30 2020 and I'm going to scroll down and well before I commit what else do we need to do inside the aside tags prepare code for an image called cafe.jpg Okay, well, I don't have the uh, link for it, but I will provide it after this video is done. Uh, remember that W3Schools is your best friend when it comes to uh, codes. So W3Schools.com, and we need the image code. This was a lesson previously. So HTML image tag. I'm just going to copy the sample. So this image source, etc., with sizes. I'm going to copy that come back to my code, find the aside. Oh, I misspelled back right here. Aside is on my line 31. I'm going to make it easier to read by just pressing enter a couple of times in between and I'm going to paste what I just copied. Control V and I have image source for image girl etc but this is going to be for the Arbor Cafe logos. It's going to be called cafe.jpg. So I'm going to replace image girl with cafe. Here, instead of girl with jacket, I'm going to say Arbor Cafe. And I'm not going to be too concerned about the width and height. I'll just keep uh, I'll just keep these numbers there for now, and scroll down to commit the changes. I'm gonna close this reference, and I'm gonna reload to see uh, where the page is. So I have a very basic page. Uh, it says Home Specials Classic Recipe of the Month, which we did in an order list. We have the two paragraphs with italicized and uh, bold text. We have a header one with dining experiences, another unordered list. Then we have uh, uh, two paragraphs. We have the horizontal rule that goes all the way across. We have the address, which is italicized, and it's got one paragraph with breaks. I'm going to reload the page, see if anything else loads. And oh, we have back to the top and then today's date. So we also added Arbor Cafe um, aside in the image tag. I can see this is going to be an image. It's broken right now because it doesn't know what to pull. But we have built the uh, structure of our project. This is the end of the first part, one of five. Uh, make sure that you, uh, you ha end up with something that looks uh, like this. And uh, in order to get a grade, make sure that you get this. I, um, URL. It's going to be your username.github.io slash arbor slash arbor.html. I'm going to copy that. Go back to the assignment and uh, make sure that you're in the assignment by clicking on 11.1. .1. And that URL that you copy, find assignment submission, write submission. 
press Control v as in Victor, and this is the uh, link that you need. Click Submit, and move on to the next part of the project.